In this video I'll show you 6 really ingenious tricks that everyone should know. How many of them do you already know? Let's start with tip number 1. If you use soap dispensers like this in your home, did you know that too much soap always comes out? This means that when you press the soap dispenser, a certain amount of soap comes out to wash your hands. But it's really always far too much. Half the soap would be enough. This means you can save a lot of money and not waste so much soap. All you need is an ordinary rubber band. You can now take this and wrap it around the head of the soap dispenser. Because as you can see here, when you press down on the soap dispenser, the soap is pumped upwards. With the rubber band we block the way a little bit, so that you can't push the soap dispenser down as far. Of course you can also just make sure that you don't push it down so far. But that's not always so easy and so the rubber band can really help here. Now push it down so that the half the way is blocked. And when you use the soap in the future you won't waste so much soap and you'll only have as much on hands as you really need. This means that you will last twice as long with such a soap dispenser in your home. So this is also a small life hack with a good saving potential. The next time you drive a nail into the wall you should use a conventional cloth pack. I'm sure you know this problem too. You choose a spot where you want to hammer a nail into the wall because you want to hang up a picture for example. Now you take a hammer and hold the nail firmly. But it happens from time to time that you also hit your fingers. Of course this is quite painful, but you can avoid this problem by using a cloth pack. You can now clamp the nail in the cloth pack and then hold it at the spot on the wall where you want to hammer it in. Now you hold the cloth pack here at the back end, move the nail to the right position and now you can drive it into the wall without hitting your fingers. Because instead of your fingers, the clothes pack is now directly around the nail. So if you miss, you won't hit your fingers. You just hit the clothes pack, which is no big deal. Once the nail is a little bit in the wall, you can remove the clothes pack and drive the nail all the way into the wall. But you can even use the clothes pack to remove a nail from the wall again, because that's not so easy to do by hand either, of course. If you have a cloth pack, you also put it around the nail again, move everything carefully back and forth and at some point you can then pull the nail out of the wall. So always have a cloth pack ready the next time you want to drive a nail into the wall. For trick number 3 you need a panty liner and then your bin. Because if you stick a panty liner to the bin you can solve a problem that you know too. But of course you don't want to just stick the panty liner on the front of the bin or on the lid where everyone can see it. I'll show you a variation that it's a little more hidden. For this you take the bin, put the bin liner around and then close it. Now you probably know that if you throw a lot of rubbish in here it will stink at some point. And that's exactly what you can prevent by using an essential oil of your choice and a panty liner like this. You should cut it a little bit to size. Because we don't need the whole one for this. We use the absorbency of the panty liner on one side and the other side sticks very well. Which is also very helpful for this little trick. I now put a few drops of essential oil on the panty liner. This is now absorbed really nicely and will give off this scent again and again. We now stick the panty liner in the bin under the lid where no one can see it straight away. You can also stick it somewhere else, for example in the bag itself or under the bag. And you can also cut the panty liner a little bit more so that you can no longer see that it used to be a panty liner. You can also just cut out a circle and stick it somewhere. So if you want to do something about your stinky bin, try this trick out on yourself. This brings us to trick number 4. And for this one, we want to stick a toothpick to our knife. But why should we do this at all? If you have a knife like this and you are cutting a cucumber or another vegetable, then you certainly know this problem. When you cut the slices, they always stick to the knife and so you don't have them lined up nicely on the board afterwards. But they are spread all over the place and really fly everywhere. But you can avoid this problem and all you need is a toothpick and some tape. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So you take this toothpick and you put some tape around it. Because we want to make sure that the toothpick sticks really well to our knife. But that we can pull it off again a little later. This works really well with tape. Now we stick the toothpick to a front position of the knife. Approximately at the height you always use to cut your vegetables. 
press everything down firmly so that the toothpick really sticks to the knife. And the next time you cut your vegetables, such as this cucumber, these slices will no longer stick to the knife. Because the toothpick will push them away from the knife and they will lie nicely lined up on the board after you have cut them. Try this ingenious trick for yourself if you are always annoyed by the slices sticking to the knife and being spread all over the board. This brings us to trick number 5. Because this problem is certainly not unknown to you. You want to send the parcel and need some tape for it. But where is the beginning of the tape roll? It is usually difficult to find. You have to fumble around for a few seconds until you find the beginning. But once you have found it, you sometimes have the problem that you only tear it off halfway and suddenly have a small shred of the adhesive roll in your hand. This makes it even more difficult to get hold of the beginning again in order to be able to wrap a package. But you can solve this problem if you use a paper clip every time you use the tape. Because you can now take this paper clip and simply stick it to the back end of the tape roll. Just like you can see the whole thing here with me now. Then you can push the tape roll down again and you will always find the beginning of the tape roll. And besides, it's not completely stuck on here, so you can easily open it again. You can take the piece of paper clip off again and put it back on next time. If you don't have a paper clip at hand or if you want to solve this in a different way, you can also just fold the last end of the tape roll over. Because then the whole thing shouldn't stick here anymore and you will always find the beginning again. This way you will always have the last part of the tape roll that is no longer stuck to the package. Choose one of these two options and you will never have to look for the beginning of the tape roll again. This brings us to trick number 6. Because you probably know this little lid that you can open on oil bottles. This means that you first unscrew the top and then you have a small cap. Usually consisting of a tab like this. Which you can pull off. Do you always throw them in the rubbish? Then you shouldn't do it in the future because there is an ingenious trick that we can do with this part. To do this we should remove it completely once in the first step. And now we put it back into the bottle. But this time the other way around. That is the tap where you just put your finger through to pull it off you now put into the bottle. That means we first go into the bottle with it and push the whole thing in here. Unfortunately you can't see the whole thing so perfectly with me. But I think you know what I mean. When we have pressed the tab into the bottle you can see here that we have now the bottom of this plastic piece at the top. But there are some corners left out and so we have made a really nice filling aid for this oil bottle. Because when you pour oil into a pan for example it doesn't come out in a large quantity. But always in a very small quantity and this way you can dose the oil much better. Why don't you try this trick out for yourself? That's all the tricks you need to know. Would you now also like to learn 10 really ingenious cleaning tricks with shaving foam? Then be sure to watch the video that I'm linking to you here. You will make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.